I think, because, I think what happens, if you read almost any commentary on 1 Corinthians, <clears throat> you will see that the uh, commentators look at the life situation in which the epistle was written, and they notice that uh, in Corinth, which was an uh, old, kind of somewhat loose city, that a sign of a prostitute was to go around with an uncovered head. And so <clears throat> the commentators say that in all probability, the reason why the apostle uh, exhorts women to cover their heads during the church and all of that is because they don't want to have that cultural scandal of appearing like prostitutes. My problem with that is this. If the apostle gives an injunction and doesn't give a reason for it, I think it's, it's uh, certainly a fair game to speculate to some degree looking at the contemporary culture and say, well, maybe the reason why the apostle gives this injunction is because of this problem in the contemporary culture. However, as you've already suggested in your question, Paul gives a reason. And if there's anything that's transcultural, it's that which is rooted and grounded in creation. And the reason he gives for this is rooted and grounded in creation. So I think it's a mistake to just dismiss that as a, a contemporary custom that's not applicable today. Now, I'm in a minority in that point, remember. Uh, I give the minority report there. <clears throat>